special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Madlo for their amazing support. Fools mod. So, I promised last episode, this is what the mine looks like. As you guys saw, there are two pictures. Uh, the one's from the one side of the mine, the other one's from the other side of the mine, and then the one with the inventory open, that's my drone and me. And our inventories are full of titanium, so that is insane. That's a lot of titanium. At this stage, actually, we ran out of clay. But guys, with that being said, that is the last time I'm going mining for titanium in this series. So if we even need to, uh, titanium again, too bad. Because, uh, do you know how long? I actually, I think I was watching Mr. Reach Gaming, another South African um, YouTuber. I was watching his stream of Darkest Falls while I was mining in this Darkest Falls. Um, but yeah, it took me like three, four in-game hours, or real-life hours, I mean, to just go mine and mine. It was so long. Okay, also, what I want to do quickly... I want to make myself the advanced magazine extender because we need it. We need it for a few things. So we need spring glue. Let me just quickly grab that spring and glue. Uh, we need steel and mechanical parts, right? I think I saw that right. So yeah, we're just quickly going to make a few of these ones because I need my guns to be able to have way more ammo in them. Um, but yeah, during all night especially, you want to have you want to be able to just shoot, 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 shoot without having to worry about a thing. Okay, we can't make any more. What I also want to see is, as you guys know, we are max level. We only have four skill points left. Um, actually, let's see. Oh, I'm so close to being able to go for this one. I want to max these out. I want to make sure my weapons are doing the maximum amount of damage during Horde Night. Most of my weapons already, except my rifles, are already maxed out. So if I can just make sure that all of those skills are maxed, then all our guns will be epic during Horde Night. There are a few skills over here that seems like we'd still need points in, but we never use them. Titanium crafting, that's part of the boulder class. We don't need this. Titanium tools. I can make titanium tools without the skill because of the classes. Uh, but yeah, guys, we need to figure out a base that's going to survive what we, we were through last episode. For those that didn't see the last Horde Knight, uh, basically the demonic bosses, especially the Incubus, I think, was able to actually vomit right through my Horde base. It's like ghost fireballs because they can go through walls and hit you. And because of it, we died, unfortunately. Honestly, if we can make a few of these, we have 60, we can make 10 more skill points. But I need ink and a quill. Ink is the only thing that's gonna, that I'm going to struggle with because we have so many notes. We don't need any more class books or um, mastery books or anything, so we can use the skill points for this now. Um, ink, let me just see how I make the ink again. I wanna make, I'm going to take this episode to make stuff that I've been meaning to make for a while. Because we have eggs. I think we have eggs, right? Only seven, so I can only make three ink. Ooh, I need to make a chicken coop. We have the farm and everything going on top, but by now it's so late, it's not even worth using the farm. In my next series, I'm going to make sure that my farm is there from the start, so we have all of the cornmeal and everything we could need. So I'm going to test this out quickly. Uh, That's rechargeable, that's advanced magazine. Let me just put all of these things together that look so badass. No, that goes over there, then the flammable. Then this. Okay, so that one already has that end. This one does not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like this. See, technically in this one, I need the other mod. The fire mod. The flammable mod. But it seems it can only go laser. Because I could have sworn I tried flammable mod on this one with the blessed metal and I didn't want to. I might just be completely out of it right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for horde gear over here, I'm just going to do this. Um, what? Oh yeah, guys. As you guys are aware, my drone was uh, it disappeared, right? I had to go underground because 20 blocks underground, I found my drone. It was working and everything. It just didn't want to follow me. It, it wasn't damaged. wasn't I, It didn't need repairs or anything, as you guys can see. It just got stuck in the ground and it didn't want to budge. So I wonder how the hell you fix that because, I mean, damn. Okay. We have so much stuff that we want to sell that we can sell. It'd be, it's insane. Also, now the Horde Knight is over, let's just do this. All those electric fence posts and stuff were making so much noise, I had to turn that uh, lower. Okay, so we already have the advanced stuff. Um, I'm not going to make the skill notes now. Because it's going to take too long to gather all the eggs and stuff. If I can buy eggs, why not? I keep forgetting that we actually over here have a working bedding machine. So every day I need to see what's there and try and buy. Because even with the food over here now... This stuff might... Let me just really buy it. 
Uh, with that stuff, we might be able to make ourselves some proper food. Man, I'm hiccuping the whole time now. I think it's because my throat's so messed up that it wants to hiccup the whole time. Uh, let me just get that one as well. Why not? Every day we need to pull up on that thing. If I can get this thing early game next uh, series, like this place, I just have a safe place to put all my loot and just go explore. That would be cool. Because I want to like focus on like making a mega build. I still want to do a Horde Knight, but it's either going to be random or uh, like every long set period of time that we're going to face a Horde Knight. It's not going to be as frequent as this. Because you don't want to just focus on doing Horde Knights. Okay. Um, I need to make more titanium. And then also we need more clay. We have this clay, but I want to make some other stuff with it as well. See, we have this much titanium left. I think that's the only titanium we have left. So we just need clay for that. But as soon as that runs out, we are out. There's nothing else we can do. Recipes, titanium. 3,000 more or less, right? Divided by... 10. Yeah, we can use these two of here as well. So we can put about 300 blocks in each of these. That's going to help us out a ton. Look at this. Oh, no, I don't have the right glasses on. So it's going to take... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Where did I put the glasses? My XP glasses I took off because I wasn't going to need it. I, I don't need to level anymore. Oh, I was wearing them all the time. Damn. I didn't want to wear them during Horde Night because it's not necessary and we want the best loot. Okay, so about 200 minutes just for these to finish. But as soon as they're done, we should at least have a ton of blocks to go. It's nice you can make 300 in each. Oh, I, I need to not make 300 in the last one. We're going to need titanium to make ourselves the power armor. So if I use up all of these shapes now, we won't be able to do that. But I think before we do that, let's just quickly go over here. I think we need... What do we need for the power armor again? Military fiber. Okay. Um, I think I do have a ton of military fiber over here. And we could make more, but just by scrapping a ton of stuff. Also, guys, this quest that I just got from her is still the same. Just go for the research notes. I wonder if it's the exact same POI as well. Because last time, yeah, it's the same one. We already did that bunker. I wanted to go and do this bunker over here. But, I mean, if we reset it for her quest anyways, then we're going to be able to get the new bunker like it's fresh. Um, I'm going to take my best laser and quail weapons with me, and then we're going to clear that place out. But first things first. I need to make sure we have the best armors and everything. I need to make this one as well. Oh, you can't make it. You can only find it. That's messed up. Okay, power armor. Power armor. Where do we make this? Over here. Why wasn't it an option just now? Anyways, okay. So, I need to see which one of these we're going to have to make multiple of. So, which one of these does not have a piece over here? Let's see. We have boots, chest, head, and legs. So, I need the gloves. I need power armor gloves, one more. Because basically you need three of each. You need two level 71s, and then you need a crappy quality one over here to combine them with each other and get the best result. So what we can do is we can repair this one, this one, this one, and this one. We don't need others, actually, but we can always just make more, and if they take as little damage as the titanium armor, we don't even have to do anything. The titanium armor takes so little damage. Guys, I haven't had to repair any of my armor, even after dying. And look how much damage they've taken. It's insane how little, after how long we've been playing, how little damage we've taken from just anything. I'm going to go show you guys what I did on top of the farm as well, while we wait for everything to craft the via. Okay, now that we have the power armor crafting, I don't think there's anything else that I need to craft, right? Let me just check over here. We should probably try and make ourselves some proper... Look at this. Power hammer. This thing is bound to be really, really powerful. But I wonder if it can knock down demon bosses and stuff as well. I think you have to have the resources on you for it to really show over here what you can make from this. Which is a shame. So there might be some guns over here that we can craft that are really badass, but I don't know about them. Oh, I also just realized this is a lot of space. Two, four, six, eight... 10, 11, 3, 6, 9, 12. So I don't even have to stay over here because it's going to fill up nicely. Awesome. Okay, so how many of these shapes can I make? 
which means it's 290 in this one and 290 in this one and because i have the wrong glasses on it's gonna take a little bit longer in these now um oh wait wait, wait. i have a spare one over here that i got from horde knight so if i wear this quickly let me just make sure we get yeah look at that that's like 30 minutes less that we have to worry about 35 minutes that's a big difference if you think about it Okay, so while we wait for those to craft, let me just really put away what we need to put away. Um, laser ammo goes over here. I should probably just keep like a few stacks of laser on me. But at this stage, it's not really that necessary. We still have a ton of laser ammo left, a ton of coil ammo left. And a few ones that are stacked, so it's easier to just get some space over there. Um, yeah, that's about it, right? I just need to make sure that we get clay as soon as possible as well. I do have some clay, but like I said, I want to make more coil. Um, because if I can do that, or lead, I need to go to Caitlyn at least to try and buy some lead. But I wonder when she resets, because I can't remember when last I was there. Um, I do need a ton of uh, lead right now, because I want to make myself quite a bit more. Oh wait, we've bought lead. I forgot. Nice. Now we can actually make ourselves armor piercing quail. So, let's just see iron. Okay, um, the iron we can actually make for casings. So I wonder if I shouldn't just uh, first make a ton of casings. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to run out of clay before I do anything. So let's just go for the tips. The more quail we can make right now, the better. Uh, let's make 2,000... No, 1,500 of this one. That's 1.5. We actually make 7.5 in this one. Or 750, I mean. And 750 in this one. And it's fa faster. It's going to be faster than I thought it's going to be. And then we just need to make ourselves some tips. See, I could make armor piercing and hollow point and all this stuff. But I think for now, let's just go basic. So 1.307 of the... Oh, you're 8 on this one. And then the rest on this one. So the rest of the iron we can save for stuff. And then we'll be able to make ourselves even more quail batteries. That I have some more lead left. So that lead and this. And what else do we need? Scrap polymers. Guys, look how much scrap polymers we have right now. It's insane. Okay, um, then we do that, and then we just have to make some batteries. I can make 50 in this one. And with this one, I don't care about the glasses I'm wearing. It doesn't matter. 50 in this one. 50 in this one. And I need to remember there's 50 in this bottom one of here as well. Boom. What did we just run out of? Electrical... Oh, okay, we can make more. The more batteries we have, quill batteries we have, the better. But I think to make it work better, let's just do it over here. If all of these have like 50 each, guys, 2,500 times 8. That's about 20,000 of these that we're making right now. Oh, I can make even more. I think, but for now, I'm going to just keep it to 20,000. Because the chances of us using up all 20,000 ammo before the end of the series is very, very low. Now I just need some clay, so I can make the rest of this into bullet tips, and then there's more clay to make them more, some more casings, and then voila! We have so much ammo, we don't have to worry about ammo at all for the rest of the series now. Is that a normal wolf up top? Let me just... no, no, whoops. Okay, accidentally tabbed out. Okay, if you do this... Just shows one wolf. It's nice you can check the map like that. Into sense. Okay, these should be almost done. So we can now go and combine these. And the boots, there you go, level 80. Apparently it doesn't say fire resistance, but it is 100% fire resistant. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll test it out. I still can't believe, uh, even though you guys, I know you guys have, uh, have commented saying it is definitely so. I just can't believe this one. If it's 100%, then I should have made this way sooner. Even if, it was, even if it was just like level 51 power armors and stuff. It would have served me so well. But I'm definitely going to be wearing these instead of my current ones to just test them out properly. So, let's see. First one's first, this one. I want to first top, uh, just take all of the stuff out. And I want to test quickly this one's stats compared to this one. Oh, wow. Stamina's better, mobility's better, noise increases better, light armor goes down by one. But since it was made with titanium, it's still durable, it's still powerful. You can't put the rad protection, can't put the fire protection, which goes to show 
that this thing is definitely it can't even put the uh put um mobility on it or more stamina damn okay the rest of the mods i'll just put in here for now then but guys the fact that we can't put the others in means that this does have fire protection i want to actually then go and try and see if i can get a hit by a demon um and if I, if i'm gonna be on fire or not you might still be on fire that's the thing you might still be on fire but you're not gonna take fire damage or at least the first explosion of it as it hit as it hits you you're gonna take some damage but other uh, other than that it shouldn't be bad okay i made sure that i had water in every single one of these of here as well because i don't think it's even <laughs> it's not even necessary to make any more scrap polymers or anything uh, we have so much ammo right now that's it's not necessary. If I did this early game, then we might have been able to use it more. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing like an insane series, like insanity. Just up the block damage a bit and loot a bit, but make it insanity difficulty. So we're gonna get demons sooner, and then we're, we're gonna need coil guns way Another sooner with ammo and stuff. Need? So it might just be fun to try it. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be fun watching or not. But it might be a fun way to just make sure that we get like a ton of tr uh, trouble. Even if there's no Horde Knight. As long as it's an insane series of random hordes perhaps. Um, the Horde Knights don't have to be like 63 and 32 or whatever. Uh, we can make all, uh, every knight. Uh, we, can, we can make Nightmare Speed. Yeah, I think if every night time is Nightmare Speed, Feral Sense is on. Um, and we don't do a Blood Moon. That's still going to be a major challenge. Because with Feral Sense on a Nightmare Speed and Insane Difficulty, you're going to struggle, you're going to really, really struggle killing zombies anyways. So it's going to be a really big challenge. Come on, drop you go, there you go. Damn. We don't even have enough space for these jars. I actually wish there was a skill, especially since you need to, you need this much water. I there a skill that allows you to use murky water for cornmeal. Um, because I mean, then we'll be able to use stacks of 125 instead of stacks of 10. Or, um, just allow you to carry more water in a, a one go. Instead of like a stack of 10, it must be like a stack of 100 or something. Because at the moment, look, look how limited our space is at the moment. Okay, um, the rest should be done as well. Let's just quickly go grab it. Helmet. Helmet. And then do this, modify, do this, modify, and put these back on. Wear this on and modify again to put these back on. So all the titanium armor for now we can put away, because we're not going to use them. We'll just do this quickly. Uh, yeah, titanium we can put away, and then we just wait for the other power armors to finish. Ooh, the boots are done as well. Guys, this nose, the sinuses and stuff is so annoying. Um, my grandmother uh, phoned or WhatsApped my mother saying, no, she has COVID after visiting us. She has COVID. Um, and uh, she knows it's COVID because it, the stories are the same. She hasn't tested anything or anything. It's just she, she believes she has COVID. Instead of going to test, now basically what she's doing is she's saying I had COVID and I gave it to her. I don't know. Perhaps I did. I don't know. But if you don't go test yourself, don't go blaming me if, if you don't really actually even go test yourself. I just hope I didn't have... Although, it's just the flu. Basically, I was sick like the flu. And now I'm just having trouble with like my throat. Like, gunk in my throat. Every now and then I have to clear my throat or drink something lemony to get all that out. Perhaps I'm lucky and I'm one of those that just has it like a flu symptom and that's it. Okay, uh, let me just quickly take these off. Boom, and boom. Do the glove first. So what should be able to go on? That should be able to go on. These cannot go on, so I can actually just do that. Modify. Get all of these on. Oh, yeah, stability also. Or mobility, for some reason, doesn't help. Customize fittings. Any kind of fittings that actually increases your stamina doesn't work with power armor. Because power armor already boosts you so much. I think the game sees it as you're just cheating then. Okay, uh, modify. We can take that off. I need to make bandit armor. I don't have any bandit armor at all on most of my armors of here, and that's going to do some even more. If I have... This is plus one. If I have the bandit plus two on all of my armors, it'll be so much more OP. Okay, so the drone can follow me. Just please don't get stuck in the ground again. 
That was so up. annoying. All systems go. On the one hand, I don't want quiet mode because if it's quiet mode, I can't find her. At least if she's talking the whole time, we know where she is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have all the quill and stuff we need. We just quickly make sure we fill up on gas. I don't really like carrying gas around with me. Although, for the August part, we'll say we should actually probably. During a horde night, guys, the reason... I was wondering, why the hell is it taking so long to break that one titanium block in the horde base? Turns out, um, my auger didn't have any of its mods on. All the mods were on my pick. I mean, look at this thing. After all that damage it did, it, uh, it still has this much HP left, which is awesome. Auger, HD. Does this one have its tank on? Yeah. Okay, what do you sell? It's weird that you have to hold in E to be able to talk to her, though. If she sells ammo and stuff, we can just buy ammo here. Especially what I need right now is like contact grenades and rockets and stuff like that. I swear, if she actually... Because she's basically Jen. If she has the workstation, I'm going to be so mad at myself for not realizing that sooner. Because I thought you couldn't buy from her, so that's just that. <gasps> Which also means we can sell to her. Sorry, but I've never heard of a we can sell stuff to her. Okay, nice. I almost forgot about that. One, two, three. Grab that. Probably see if I can't make a ton of repair kits for all of this stuff. Laser swords we can sell to her. Since she's into laser tech, she should take the laser stuff, right? I really want to test this out whether it's going to work or not. So basically, I still have the right glasses on. See, while we're in the base, I should actually have like a box in the front over there by the door. As soon as we enter, we put on the looter glasses and oh no, the XP glasses and the crafting. And as soon as we exit, we put in the lucky looter glasses. That way I don't have to worry about where's what. Okay, ammo parts. We can grab some these. These should be done as well. We have way too many coil batteries at the moment. I think let's just make sure we grab everything first. I don't want to leave anything in the workbenches. I have in the past made stuff. And then like a whole week or two later, that's like 14 episodes later, I open that workbench Incoming for some enemies. reason. Okay, for the moment I was like, oh no, Wandering Horde. I wish you'd actually say stuff like that when there's a Wandering Horde. Not just any time she feels like it. Okay, now unfortunately we don't really have... Is there Quail? Although the pistol is good, so I wonder. Okay, yeah, let's go for Quail for these ones over here. Okay, so I'm going to make... I can only stack to about 600, right? Or 300. I think it stacks to 600, so I can make 1.7 in this one. And this over here. Boom. Okay, so we just need tips. Basically, what I want to do is I want to take all the ammo we don't use, like these. Unpack them. Take the points and bullets and whatever, or the... I think you, I don't think you get the casing back. You only get the bullet tip and the battery back. Uh, if you were to get the casing back, that would be awesome as well, but I don't think that happens. But I want to make sure we can get some stuff done over here. Okay, so, trade. Can I sell? Yes, we can sell. Nice, nice, nice. That helps us out if we can actually sell stuff over here. Does she sell resources? Aww. If she just sold some clay pap, that would be awesome. Okay, I think we still need a crucible, but that's not important for now. What I saw earlier is that we need that. Thank you. Um, and we need like eggs and ink and stuff. So if we can buy those, perhaps. I've got a bad feeling about this. I hate it when she says stuff like that. It's just the wolf up top. But sometimes if you think, oh, it's just the wolf and ignore it, then it turns out to be a wandering horde. While I was mining, guys, there was almost no zombies that interfered with me because the feral sense is off. I was able to mine in just peace and quiet. It was actually a nice change of pace, not having to go to the top every now and then to clear out zombies. Okay, what other mods can I make? I already have... Feel the heat of my pistols. I have a full auto on this one. I should actually probably put a full auto on this one as well. It's just a burst mod. Uh, let's see, let's see. That one goes on this gun because it's a laser gun. I want to actually put a, a flammable one on this one as well. But where? Was, what do I do? I swap it out with Cripplem. But Cripplem, however, allows you to uh, cripple zombies. Uh, dismember them properly. So for now, we'll just put these away, but we might be able to use them later. But it's nice that I now know we can actually sell to her. We don't have to go to Caitlyn, unless you need resources. 
You don't have to go as far as Caitlyn just to sell stuff and perhaps get some stuff. I wonder if she's more like... Well, let me just see this quickly. If I talk to her... I wonder if she's more like Jen or more like um, Caitlyn. Like with stuff that she can sell you and teach you and stuff. Okay, I want to show you guys the farm. I actually wanted to do that while it was crafting and stuff, but yeah. Okay. I should actually see... What do I need to make like duct tape and stuff as well? Oh, come on. That's the only uh, thing that I hate about this base is the fact that it, you really struggle sometimes hitting stuff. Or getting on top of stuff. I don't see the wolf, however. Okay, so all the corn plants are grown again, but guys, we don't need any more corn. Like, at all. Um, I actually managed to make this go a little bit higher. This is all the uh, fertile ground we had, or farm plots. So I need to actually make even more farm plots for this. And then it can go up even more. Boom. But before we... Guys, we're never going to be able to populate all of this farmland over here. Because we need the rotting flesh and stuff from early, early on. Although now that I know how slow it can be to till the ground, like using an iron hoe, what I could do is in the future, instead of going for farm, or going for farm plots, farm plots are just way more cost effective. Because basically you can put four next to each other, like this, one, two, three, four. You can put the irrigation on either sides of them and it grows. But now it seems the soil, it, it's a little bit different. You have to have one row of dirt tilled, and then water, water, one row of dirt. It's just, it's... Uh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. You used to be able to till ground. It was slow, but you could till everything next to each other. And even though the ground changes as you go, if you keep tilling, you could use all four blocks next to each other. But now you can only use one at a time. So for a 3x3 uh, three three farm, like if this was a floor where I'm standing on, you can put a puddle of water over there. And it could actually just be like a circle of plants. But other than that, I don't see the point of using a hoe, an iron hoe. It's just not worth it. Obviously, iron hoe is awesome when you're harvesting um, your crops and stuff. But other than that, it's just not worth it. I want to see if I... But now, I don't need any levels. But it might be good for loot. I want to actually try and see if I can't make myself a streamer base. Like a streamer farm. At least now we know we have a horde base for day 77. Um, I want to actually get hit by a demonic zombie to see what this thing does. Uh, how much damage do I take and stuff. Because if I can take damage over there during horde night and not die like from the fire, that would be awesome. We only died this horde night because of the damn fire. Also, um, for those of you who don't know, Darkest Falls has no candies, like crafting candies and stuff like that. Uh, but Kane actually introduced other foods that he can actually use. Like spaghetti and stuff like that. I should actually probably see if I can't make some of those. Let's see if there's anything hidden. We have a ton of titanium blocks crafting, but that's about it. Just think it's going to take that long. Even with 10 workbenches, it's going to take still another 100. And that's over two hours. Two real life hours. So we're definitely going to be facing day 77 at the horde base, it seems. Um, there is a horde design that I really want to try where the zombies run straight at you and then... Hopefully if I can make the path thing just right, we don't have to worry about stuff like uh, zombies vomiting through walls or clipping through walls that much. Okay, I need to probably see if I can make myself some better food as well. Okay, uh, so for food, let's grab some of this. I don't think we need any of these for food. And then all of this food. Let's see, what can I make? Ooh, more water over here. Okay, so bacon and eggs, but I want to save the eggs for now. Charred meat, cooked chili. Oh yeah, all of these are the bowls I want to make right now. Pasta, sham. English breakfast. Oh, it also requires eggs. Although I think this is one of those that actually... No, I thought it might be one of those special ones, but I wonder if it shows it. If it's special, does it show? Ooh, I want to make a farm, but at the same time, I also want to make a ton of these. During Horde Night, guys, this gives you 60 water back. It's almost like drinking a mineral water. So for now, we'll make five of this one. Spaghetti. I think this one's the one. I can't remember what this does, but this is one of those that actually... Since so it's under Master Farmer, it gives you an effect. I need to go read some of your comments because someone said exactly what spaghetti does, but I didn't really pay attention. Okay, but yeah, if we can make one spaghetti, perhaps. 
Uh, we can make more of this stuff, but for now, that's fine. I need to make myself a chicken poop as well, because we need to make sure we can raise some chickens. Okay, and do this for all the water. Damn, I don't have enough space for all of the water over here. And this one's already full. Yeah, I think for now, let's just put the water... I'm not going to harvest any of the other corn, because we don't have the space. Even if I put everything in the, in the chem stations over there, we're just constantly going to be spawning screamers and stuff for ourselves. I want to see next time around. We can break this. Just not the walls. I need to use these rooms better. So next series, what I'm going to do is a farm right off the bat. I want to make a room like this, but it has to have a working sink so you can get water for all of the stuff. This obviously for the water itself. This for the cornmeal. And then some chem stations perhaps on the walls and stuff. You want to have all of those things in the same room so you don't have to worry about where they are. We should probably also put some lights in here because it's rather dark. Okay, how many blocks do I have right now? I think I'm going to end off this series with one doing the big bunker. So the last quest for her. But I'm going to clear the whole place. I need to clear the whole place. So I'm going to do the bunker. And then I'm going to face one more horde knight. Well, we're definitely going to face another horde knight in this horde base over here. But I need to face the horde knight on my new horde base. Like the one I want to make. It has to work perfectly. I mustn't die. And then, you know, okay, cool. We can call it an end of the series. I don't know when that's going to be or how long it's going to be until then. Because, yeah, sometimes it, it just takes a while. You just quickly drop this stuff. Ooh, this is going to fill us nicely. It's not every day that you get the clay ball back. Look, pasta. We don't need this. Or pasta. I don't know how you guys pronounce it. At least now we're full, so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. I'm thinking, should we go do a few quests or not? It's been a while since we've actually done quests. And if we can get some demons to test on. Because, for example, we has, we still have this level 5 fetching clear over here. I don't know what that is. Is, is that the Gashi Tower? What is that? It just says Skyscraper, but it doesn't say which one. Clear area and fetch supplies. I think before we do any of that, we just first have to make sure we actually have a ward base. Uh, so we have to repair the current damage to our current one. And then I need to figure out how to block the fireballs, those ghost balls from going through the walls. It was definitely, it's basically like having ghost fireballs being shot at you. Like the, like how the succubi goes through the walls, that's how the fireballs came after us. So if we can make sure we have a horde base, ooh, where did that just go? If we can make uh, sure we have a proper horde base going before then as well. I think what we need to do next is make a horde base here. I just need to make sure that we're not too close. If I do this, it's the end of a building. Yeah, we should be safe to build over here. If we can have them close enough to each other, if one fails, we have the other one. So since this one, the zombies run in like this to us, we stand and we look that way when we look at the poles. I want to make one that looks this way. So this is going to be the massive uh, platform that we're going to be using. I wonder though, I should probably go dig a hole for it again, right? I wanted to record one more episode, but I think what I should do now instead is go make that hole quickly. It needs to be a 10 by 10 base this time, not as small as this pillar. And then that's just going to make sure that the demons don't vomit at us that easily. And then on the inside, I'm going to put plates and stuff. So if the uh, fireballs go through, they're more likely to hit the plates than me. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do now, guys, um, I wanted to make another episode, but I'm just going to go mining a bit. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Comments and tips of feedback. What do you guys think now of the fact that I have full power armor? Leave your comments. Oh, wait. Power. Power, power, power. Power. Why is it not full radiation protection? Oh, I was about to say, damn. But yeah, now we have full radiation protection. Uh, apparently, it's 100% fire protection. So that's awesome. But yeah, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we start building our new horde base. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.